With the Arizona primary election soon here, some Yuma community members are raising concerns about one specific local candidate claiming he doesn't live in the district he's running for. News 11's Valeria Rodriguez has the full report. Gary Garcia Snyder is running for Arizona House of Representatives for District 25, which covers the northern parts of Yuma County, like here in downtown Yuma, meaning he should be living in District 25, but many believe he lives in District 23. Now he's trying to set the record straight. My question to Gary Snyder and others uh, and to the voters is, if you're going to lie about where you live, what else are you going to lie to me about? In previous candidate forums for past elections, Gary Garcia Snyder stated he lived in San Luis by Aguirre Street and Garcia Boulevard with his wife and two kids. But for the most recent race, he has a home address listed in Yuma Foothills. Uh, after the 2022 election, I decided I was going to move to uh, Foothills with my family which is my mother and sister, uh, to help them out because they have two, uh, two children, one autism and the other one 70% uh, paralyzed. I was able to talk to a neighbor in San Luis asking if Snyder is her neighbor and the last time she saw him at this home. Gary Snyder is, is su vecino. Yes, sí, yes, he's vecino. my neighbor. ¿Cuándo es la última vez que lo, que lo vio? Mm, como el fin de semana. This weekend I saw him. I don't see him every day. But that he lives here? Oh yeah, he lives there. Currently, the San Luis home is up for rent as Snyder says he is planning on purchasing a home in the foothills for his wife and kids to move into. We were trying to bring the whole family, but with school going on, we wanted to wait till the summer, which we're at to the point. Right now, the house is for rent. Meanwhile, Phil Townsend, who's a past chairman of the Yuma County Republican Party, doesn't believe Snyder. I want somebody that comes home on weekends they are in their community, whether they go to church, to the grocery store, to restaurants. According to Town said, this is the third time in 12 years in which a candidate's place of residency is questioned. Darren Mitchell ran and was elected to represent. He used an address of what appeared to be a vacant house that had a mattress on the floor. Then Don Shooter, uh, a few years ago, ran... Um, who was an incumbent and changed districts after redistricting to run in what is currently my district and uh, used an apartment that the utilities had not been turned on in like seven months. Snyder was also questioned about his name. Someone by the name of Gary Jane Snyder has pled guilty to a couple of misdemeanors and other court documents. You can just pull up the background and then just with a global card that will just tell you straight up no one can have a, it's like having a century. You can't have a background. So the global is the highest, it's a high clearance. So you means you have nothing in your background. Snyder claims that it is not him, that he has a clean record. Snyder is running against three other candidates, including incumbent Representative Michael Carbone in the Arizona primary, with the top two candidates advancing to the general election in November. Reporting in Yuma, Varela Rodriguez, News 11.